do you make up like this? How is my a private person? But how do you keep that beauty, that glow? Kasi hindi naman nahalatang haggard ka stress ka. Thank you so much. What is the secret? Finally met you. Ready? Ready? Hello guys! Hello Jewel Tailors! I'm now with the beautiful Liza. Is it Liza or Hope? Either or, but I... Um, or how should I, I go by Liza. Liza but personally, I go by Hope. Oh, okay, so I'll call you Liza on cam and later on when you say goodbye, I'll call you Hope. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You know, I always say faith, hope, and love in our show. I always say, always have faith, hope, and love. That's beautiful. That's actually my dad's mantra. So my little sister also has love in her name, and he wants it one day, hopefully, another girl. Faith. Yeah. There's faith, hope, and love. Thank you so much for sharing that info, Liza. First up, congratulations, Lisa Frankenstein. It's number two in the U.S. box office. How do you feel? I'm just so overwhelmed with joy and pride and love for the film and I'm just really excited for what's in store. I'm, I'm actually immensely proud for Zelda, Catherine, and Cole because they all work very hard on this project, especially Zelda. This is her first feature film and she poured her heart into this project and even though it kind of scared her at first because she was scared of tackling comedy, I think she did an amazing job at it. And they were all very supportive of you. Yeah. I've been reading articles that they are in awe of your talents. So you only have good words for you, Liza. Yes, it's, it's very flattering and I honestly, I feel so shy about it. I don't know how to accept it, but I'm, I'm very thankful that um, people really like my portrayal of Tati and Lisa Frankenstein. And it's really encouraging, I would say. I'm inspired to work harder and like do even more like out Movies. of this box oh, yeah. films and stuff, and stuff like Meron that. next? I have a few projects that I'm working on locally that I'm producing myself. Really? And, oh, tell us yes. about it. Can you tell us about it? As producer, <laughs> Liza, the producer. I can't really speak on specifics like what the story is about or anything. So, it's a yeah. like love story, thriller. Sure. It? So, uh, there's one um, series that we're developing. I would say that it's a young adult series that tackles love, um, the like hardships of dealing with um, your career and stuff like that. So there's that one. There's other projects that are one's a reality show. There's one movie that I'm producing for another actor. Those are a few. But in LA, in in Hollywood, yeah. I get shy to say that. But in LA, in Hollywood, um, I've been consistently auditioning for different things. Um, my Merumang in Korean actually after the movie came out. So I'm just, I'm, I feel very blessed right now. I will pray. I will pray that you get all those projects because you deserve all those projects. Isa ka sa pinaka magagaling artista, pinaka mauusay, you won't be here until today as we speak kung hindi ka magaling. Hindi ka lang maganda. Magaling ka. Pero di ba, Liza, pag ganitong super busy, one of the busiest actresses, 
hindi ba iwasan nangangarag tayo, na haggard of stress. Yeah. Parang hindi ko naman nakikita yung haggard of stress. It's a makeup. <laughs> But, <laughs> But I'm sure behind the, the makeup. Diba? Ganyan ka ba? Parang I woke up like this. Ganito ka naman ganda. No, I wake up looking like a monster. Oh! <laughs> Take three! Parang acting lang, diba? So, napaka-busy mong actress. Isa ka sa busiest actress on earth in Hollywood and all. And here then. Pero how do you keep that beauty, that glow? Kasi hindi ka pa nakahalatang haggard ka or stress ka. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. um, Well, I have a great glam team that takes care of me all the time, but here. underneath all the makeup and the glam, yeah. obviously I, I work hard at taking good care of myself, I would say. Um, What's your beauty routine then? My beauty routine. Ayan, share mo, okay. do share. This beauty routine in the morning. <laughs> ako excited din ako. In the morning, in the evening, and while working. Sige, okay. morning muna. Pero bago yan, do you make up like this? Get off again. No, How do you look definitely like this? not. I look terrible when I first wake up. <laughs> like Frankenstein's monster? Like Frankenstein, oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm sure yung ganyan mukha maganda yan kahit magpagising na pagising ko maganda ako <laughs> I'm just kidding no there's days where I wake up and I feel like you I feel ugly pre- yeah. no I feel pretty sometimes yeah. but there's days where I feel terrible especially if I don't have enough sleep or you know you don't completely remove all your makeup off properly yeah. but Um, I would say my skincare routine for the morning time is the most simple. Yeah. I start with a facial cleanser and then I just do sunblock because I don't, I'm always in a rush and I don't want to take too long with my skincare, but also I put makeup on the set so I don't need skincare underneath it. Um, in the evening, that's when I kind of go fancy and, and I do like the whole five step Um, skincare routine. What, what is the five steps? Ako, two steps lang eh. Ano itong five steps? The secret ni Liza. Mine is five. Oh, okay. um, Come on. Jump. One is a, well, a makeup remover, obviously. Next, I'll go in with a facial cleanser. And then, I will go in with a toner, a serum, and then a moisturizer. Sometimes when I'm feeling like I need a little more love, I'll put a sheet mm-hmm. mask on top to like seal everything in. And then... Korean mask. mask. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then last, uh, on the set, my skincare routine, I actually go to the set bare because my makeup artists hate it when I do anything to my face beforehand. So um, I'll bring my like UV Defense sun cream, which also acts as like a makeup base. And then that's the only thing I'll put on before. But beyond the physical, of course, we have an interview. Diba yung kanatalo? Kahit anong ilagay mo sa face mo, na makeup, or any of these beauty products, creams, pag wala yung inner peace, diba? Wala rin. Yes. So, but I see that glow coming from within, radiating from within. What is the secret? Avoiding, avoiding negativity at all costs. That's honestly... Possible ba yun sa industry natin? Yung mga negatives, diba? They're always just there lurking. Yes. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. <laughs> but a lot of social media, I think it's easy to avoid for me because um, I don't really lurk that much anymore. But... Um, you don't read the comments. From time to time I'll read because I, I do get curious about what people think about my performance yeah. and the movie and stuff. Yes, yes. Um, but I, I don't like to read anything about... My, my personal life or anything. Um, um, but, but when it comes to like sur- like working with people physically, I like to surround myself um, around good people that I trust and I know like genuinely care and love me. And whenever I know I'm going to have to be with someone that brings negative energy towards me, I just um, mentally prepare myself for that moment. And I just kind of fight the negativity with positivity. You just act overly positive like about it. Like you pray me. for that person. <laughs> like when I'm there, I just try to not mind the negativity and I try to influence them with my positivity. Yeah, with your yeah. smile. Yeah. Yeah, your positivity more easily rubs off. Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh, parang wala ka nga pinagdaraanan at all, di ba? But what is Liza at home when you're mm-hmm. alone? Do you pray a lot? Meditate a lot? Mm-hmm. How are you? How's Liza, the private person? I'm pretty chill, I would say. Okay. Um, how chill is chill? <laughs> how chill is chill? Yeah. I could be laying down all day. <laughs> sleep talaga, no? Yeah, you know what they say, sleep. sleep. Yeah. Enough sleep, Mama? Hey, I... Eight hours. Um, <laughs> I'm an enough sleep for life, huh? No, I think I sleep pretty well compared to when I was a lot younger, before I would never sleep. Even you go to my hand job, my healing one dog. They said to me, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you get but, sleep? Um, I get more sleep nowadays, but... um. 
when I'm on, on my days off, I actually really like cleaning. I love cleaning my house. I find it very therapeutic. Yeah. I see you clean the toilet bowl. Everything. The tiles, you know, it's like one of the tiles. Like oh. I scrub them all by hand, one by one. Oh my gosh, it's oh, it's relaxing, therapeutic to clean, makita mo, put it after. And people start getting worried because I live alone right now, and so like, when I'm cleaning, I can, I'm unbothered, like, nothing can distract me, and so people will be blowing up my phone all day, and I'm like, I don't care, I'm busy, I'm cleaning, and then they're gonna be like, what happened to you? So I really like cleaning and packing, like, doing things by myself. These are the products that you mentioned kanina. Okay, tell us about this. Kailan mo ginagamit itong mga produkto? Okay, so let's do this first. Yeah, okay. Bangunan. I'll use this one first. So this is the one I was talking about for the makeup, uh, the, the set routine. Um, I'll go to the set bare faced and then I'll just bring this and I'll have the makeup artist apply this beforehand. It's a pretty show primer. Oh, well, it, it, it doubles as a makeup base mm. and sunscreen. So it's it's really good. Is it for all ages? It's for all ages and all skin types. Of course, you still have to test it out and see yeah. how it benefits you. Gerald, I think I could re recommend this so long. This is Thank the sun gel. Good. Okay, I love using this on taping. Bug yung character po. Hindi kailangan ng foundation. Um, usually when I portray characters that um, are a little bit more, less, you know, like... Less glamorous, less glamorous. Uh, alibaba, parang ordinary girl lang, ganyan. Yes. I don't put foundation on because I love I love to show my actual skin. Maganda talaga skin mo kasi sa mga movies mo na ordinary girl lang yung role mo. Wala palang makeup yun. Yes. Ito na. I'm all gonna pop on the foundation. So, mm -hmm. I like using this because it's a hyaluronic... What's a hyaluronic cream? So hyaluronic is an ingredient that helps other ingredients penetrate into your skin, but it also makes your skin more supple. Um, but what I like about this product is it makes cooling effect. So it's perfect for filming when you're under like intense lights or in the UV rays, the mga yes, mga shooting lights. Sa kalagila araw lang hindi kung mas malala pa. Bang kasal sa Okay. But um, my cooling effect shows, so it's protecting me from the sun while also making my skin feel cold. So I'm comfortable throughout the whole day, and you can reapply it. Oh, and beach girl, that in ba? Yes, perfect. I, the yes, this beach. is yes because if you have like a sunburn and oh, this is like your yeah. second day yeah, at the yeah. beach, I think it helps with like the the pain that you feel from the sun. Well, oh, perfect for the summer, guys. Yes. Cooling gel. Yes. Next is UV defense all day sun cushion. Um, this is perfect. Well, it kind of acts like a, you know the sticks? The I haven't used them though, but I do know about okay. them. So okay. that's also one of my favorite products. Sun under the they have sunsticks? They have sunsticks. Sun yes. Wow, it looks like, like to honestly, it looks like little deodorant. Yeah, I know. And I know. you put it on your face, but yes. this kind of is like that, but it's in cushion form. So you can apply this to your face and your body. For me, this is like a good everyday use type of sunscreen mm -hmm. cushion. Powder, foundation. Um, there. No, it it it's a lip. Uh, well, it's a liquid or cream or like something like that. It's it's wet. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. liquid though. Yes. Okay, but not in a tube though. No, no. Uh, it's okay, pero paano nagsimula yung relationship mo with the pros? How did you guys discover each other? Um, so two years ago, um, actually my management, Careless, is very close friends with the company, and they've done a lot of um partnerships together. So eventually when I signed to Careless, Diopost reached out um, and asked if I could work with them. And it was actually very cool because that was around the time when I did Lisa Frankenstein. And so they sent me a bunch of products for me to try out. And so I brought the first line that I was introduced to was skin, the skin reveal line. And so that's what I brought with me during the filming of Lisa Frankenstein. And um, while using it, I got so many compliments on my skin. Yeah. And so after the filming, I was like, okay, I want to work with you first. It's like glassy, the skin. Yes. So achievable pala yung glassy skin. Hindi lang yan pang Korean actors no. or Korean and movies. You can do it anyway. Really? Can. You think so? Because <laughs> yes. I'm already 15. I'm 15 you years old. You know, look great. Paki-ulit nga yun. Parang 40. <laughs> Parang 49 lang. 40. 40. 40. 40. <laughs> Not 40. I'll take that compliment. Yes. <laughs> you look 10 years younger. But you know what? As you age talaga. Kaya, kaya natawa ka nino when you said you're you're starting to feel the age. So sabi mo 26 ka lang. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a bad habit of saying that I'm old, and then I feel like I offend people, but I'm not an agent. Hindi, hindi, you didn't offend me. Natuwa okay. ako sa'yo, because at the age of 26, I also felt, I think my skin is feeling the, the age. Yes. So now that I'm 53, I think I need more products like this one. <laughs> yes, yes. 
Okay, I think uh, it's important to start um, educating yourself on skincare at an early age because it's preventative yeah. instead of like later on going back and trying to fix whatever you think you want you want to fix. Yeah, Dama. So because you already said your tip or your piece of mm -hmm. advice, anything you want to add to the women out there watching this video mm -hmm. of all ages, what would you advise me, a tita, a mommy, a mamu at 53? Well, first and foremost, I would say like, um, don't fall into the pressure of like meeting societal society standards of beauty. I think that we all have our own unique type of beauty, yeah. um, whether that be physical or inner beauty. And so I think people shouldn't be so conscious about the way that they physically look. But although I do advise everybody to take care of themselves well, to practice self-love and self-care, when you show yourself some love, then you become positive, you become, you have a positive outlook on life. and and you feel you're most confident. And so um, for all the girls watching this or whoever, you don't have to be a girl, you can be a guy, anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's important to start taking care of yourself, start finding the right products for you. I think you have to really educate yourself, um, do some research and slowly try different products out to know what works best for your skin type. Don't fall into fads or trends or any of them. Any of that. I don't think this is a fad or a trend. No. I think this is for good. Yes. Divine. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank Lisa you. Lisa so inside. I haven't seen the movie yet. Will it be shown in Manila? Yes. It's yeah. actually showing already. Oh, yes. Oh, don't come in the date. Ni Papu. Oh, yes. Say hi to Papu Julius. Papu. 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 and Papu. Thank you so much for all the love and support throughout the years. And I hope to see you again someday soon. Sana maka work ulit kita soon. Or my interview maka ulit soon. Yes. Take care and congrats on all your success. Thank you. Happy Valentine. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> so, so, build your own routine. Like you said, di ba, meron yeah. tayong five steps, six steps. So, ito yun. Mm -hmm. uh, exfoliant, toner, mm -hmm. essence, moisturizer, sun care, and body care. You said you have a two-step routine right now. What do Tula. you do? Washing my face and putting cream. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Wala akong toner. Thank you. Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> Oh wait, there's more! Sayang Liza, nakalimutan kong ikwento sa'yo na ang yung director na si Zelda Williams, director of Lisa Frankenstein, ay anak ng Hollywood comedian, the late Robin Williams, who married a half-Filipina, Marcia Garces. Alam mo ba, Liza? And sa inyo din, fun fact ito, teammates, na-interview ko si Robin Williams noong 1999 noong nagkaroon siya ng press junket sa Japan para sa pelikulang Patch Adams. Tingnan nyo, teammates, ngayon ko na lang ulit to nakita ang naging tanong ko sa kanya nung interview ko about death. Rest in peace, Sir Robin, and thank you for your body of work and thank you for signing this precious memorabilia for me and Julius. Julius and Tintin would like to thank the following. Pure Gold, Always Panalo, David Salon, Wherever you are, whatever you do, David Salon brings out the best in you. Raja Travel Corporation, with you on your journey.